The Youth Ambassador Program has pioneered a new approach of engaging diverse audiences around the country. YAP has made seven dynamic music videos using their talents to raise awareness and teach about history. And I can still hear the story from the wise men telling how they came with perfect timing. Environmental stewardship. And health and wellness with their nationally recognized video, Get Outside and Move. The party's just getting started. Let's get outside, come on, move your bodies. Let's play tag and play some kickballing. Let's play hide and seek in the garden. But now Yap is on to a new journey, traveling down to the Washington, D.C. area, experiencing outdoor adventures including camping and kayaking, and witnessing the wonders of the National Mall. But this trip goes much deeper. Keeping within the tradition of Yap, these ambassadors visited several national parks, learning about the history of Frederick Douglass, Harriet Tubman, and the Underground Railroad. Their challenge? To use their newly gained knowledge to write a song, record it, and perform the song all in one week. Ride along with Yap as we will show you this amazing process, concluding with a live performance at the historic Fort DuPont in the heart of Washington, D.C. Before Yap leaves on their journey though, they go to visit the house where Frederick Douglass first stayed as a free man, the Nathan and Polly Johnson House, located in the historic downtown district of New Bedford, Massachusetts. Well, seeing as I'm sitting in the same house Frederick Douglass lived in, changed his name in, it's a great opportunity for even be here to even know about the whole thing. And I live right down the street, so it's, it's just really hits home that it's happened in the same city that I was born and raised in. It feels kind of overwhelming to be in the house that Frederick Douglass once lived in because there's so much interesting stuff like on the walls and a lot of information. A lot of people did come to New Bedford for that very reason. It feels good to be from a city with a lot of background and it makes me proud to be here. Learning about the history of New Bedford changed my perspective. Growing up as a youth in New Bedford, you don't really think much of where we're from. To us, it's probably just like some poor city with a bunch of ghetto kids and all kinds of nonsense. But there's so much history in the city. There's so much culture and you just learn so many new things that you never knew, like being the richest city at one point in time in the country and whaling exports and even to know or learn that Frederick Douglass actually lived here at one point in time. Who knew that there could be so much history in the place that I grew up? It feels great to get away from Bedford for a little while because not a lot of people can just pick up and go somewhere else and learn about how somebody else used to live. Good morning. We've all learned so much about New Bedford. Hello world. It's just really nice to be able to learn something about some other place. We're on our way to DC right now. We're in the van pretty early. I haven't slept. We headed to DC, man. Um, yeah, I'm kind of tired. It's kind of early, but when I wake up, I'll be looking forward to it. What we're about to do, we're gonna go take a tour. We're gonna learn some things, and what we're gonna do in turn is teach what we learned to the listener, to you. Youth Ambassador Program, back at it, on the road. Here we are. What's up? It's crack like a pimp. <laughs> yo, 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 it's guard in the back. One of them bugs is guard in the back, man. Who gave that spider steroids? Coming up on the next episode of the North Star Journey, Yap visits the oldest store in Maryland, a place where Harriet Tubman worked and saw her life change drastically. 
To hear about how much of a strong woman and everything that Harriet Tubman did. She said that she came back here 19 times and she took over 300 slaves to freedom. To see where all that happened was just awesome. And Yap goes kayaking on the rivers where Harriet Tubman and others waded through to escape slavery. Ah! We had to get up out of there. That's next time on Yap's North Star Journey.